Yeah, hi guys. So now we'll see platform developer one maintenance module. So in winter 23, so who received a email from the Salesforce regarding this maintenance? So all of you complete this maintenance. So in this maintenance, basically we have two modules. So one is a multiple choice, and second one is what a a simple program so first we'll see the multiple choice so that is the first one maintain your a platform developer one certification for a winter 23 see so they given a 15 minutes time to us so here we have some uh, uh, questions okay so before going to see the questions uh, uh, let's see what are the uh, things we have for certification okay utilize the flow and the process runtime uh, implement api version 54.0 so regarding the flows after save record trigger flow the as before and the limit also executed approvals and uh, time based workflow fields okay a flow error emails class so new alerts are confirmed from from those Mm. wait okay so field update actions uh, have changed in api version 54.0 uh, which record trigger flow to field update action now execute okay mm. For this, uh, before save and after save. Next, which Apex class is used to determine the host names for the domains that Salesforce host for you were or to determine the host names and domains that Salesforce host. That is what a system domain creator class. Uh, what's that? System domain creator class next so which module can be used for notification in a lightning web component instead of a, a native apis uh, 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 api see here so use a new module so lightning alert Lightning confirm and lightning uh, prompt instead of uh, a native okay uh, lightning alert uh, lightning confirm and lightning prompt okay so what determines uh, an org ship in Salesforce org shape create an org Org shape as a unit say easy to build the scratch just to define the switcher settings editions limits and licenses that's the so which lightning a model a component required a, a create a a model component model uh, 
the component display the value of the The body next so how you can call the invocable action in apex code apex code reflex and invocable aspects all right uh this one <coughs> okay so next uh, let me check this Okay, so the first pointer was completed. Then you can go for the second one. So second one is what uh, I'll get hands on. Uh, uh, let's go for the question. Okay, so review updates to the Salesforce to maintain a platform developers and work again. So if I haven't already completed, get ready for the okay. So create an FX class that is a test factory. Create an FX class uh, that is the data generation test. Copy and paste the data generated test code provided above into the newly created. Uh, okay, so means what the two test classes we already have. Next, replace all system dot. Okay, system asset methods with a new asset class. Keep in mind that the statements might have more optimal replacement uh, one to one match. Okay. Uh, no, delete on unneeded. Okay. So we need to delete all unnecessary of course what we have okay okay so now let's see so we already have these uh, two classes so this one test factory and your data generation test so then what we have to do so we need to replace uh, okay so we need to use i said is true the new one okay so then so then you can uh, launch your account So what you have to do, so first we need to create uh, the class. Go and open developer console. Go to file, a new Apex class, name it Apex Factory. Now we can go there. We already have uh, this class test factory okay so if I have copies then uh, simply copy the code paste here save it next we need to create a uh, one more class about that the data generation test copy the name to file a new class okay copy the code copy the code and place it simply save it done save it now come to the question okay so replace all system asset methods with a new asset uh, class okay <clears throat> come here so in this class we don't have any assets equals right check it no in the normal class we don't have anything so here we have a, a this second one is then a data generator and test class is then here hmm. so inside the opportunities okay see here in the line number 20 we have a, a system dot uh, asset system dot asset now now what we have to do so we need to replace a new class that is a asset dot is true the line number 20 
asset dot is a true done then scroll down so then we will have system dot assets so here okay line number 31 32 33 we have three system dot asset no here itself also asset dot is true so we are comparing so that is a uh, true here also we have a comparison statement see here the size is greater than zero the size is equals to six right comparing okay so here also asset dot is true next here assets not equals to assets not a equals now come here asset dot are not equal asset not assets dot or not equal done next line number 20 31 32 33 next line number 38 here also we have a, a system dot assets equals right so system dot assets equals now here what we have to do uh, we need to use assets dot r equal assets dot r equal so what are the changes uh, we did in this program line number 20 asset dot is true line number 31 asset dot is true line number 32 asset dot is true line number 33 asset dot or not equal line number 38 asset dot or equal got it now save it done now you can go here your challenge see uh, replace the one-to-one -one match make sure that uh, save it and deploy it into a, a playground okay done then after so just i'm checking So finally, we completed uh, our maintenance. Got it? Thank you. Bye.